What is up guys, I'm back with another video and if you haven't seen my how to install Oxygen OS on your OnePlus One video, that will be the first link in the description below. But in that video I told you I'll be giving you an overview of Oxygen OS. So without any further delay, let's take a closer look at Oxygen OS on the OnePlus One. So starting off with the dialer, you'd find the same dialer you'd see on any stock Android device running Lollipop. So you can swipe right to open the dialer, swipe left to open the camera or just simply swipe up to unlock the screen and head to your home screens. So in fact, like I said in the how to install video, Oxygen OS is really close to stock Android. So the way I'll be doing this overview is by basically highlighting what Oxygen OS offers that's exclusive to the OnePlus One that you won't find on any other device running stock Android. So by just taking a look at the OS, you can see you have that typical material design and all that lollipop animations. But the first thing I want to highlight is the ability to change and rearrange these toggles here in the status bar. So if you hit this button at the top right here, and let's say you don't use something like maybe Wi-Fi, well, who doesn't use Wi-Fi, but let's say you don't use orientation lock. You can just deselect these and hit that button again and they won't be there anymore. You can also rearrange these toggles and let's say you want to bring back Wi-Fi and orientation lock. You can just reselect them and once you hit that button, they'll be active again. This is a really nice feature to have here and I mean if you're running a custom ROM based off of Jelly Bean or KitKat on some other phone or even the OnePlus One running KitKat, this won't be anything new to you since that was there before. But just having it here on Lollipop is really handy and I mean it definitely opens way for improvement in the future where we'll be able to add toggles that weren't even there in the first place. So moving on, if you jump into the settings menu, in addition to the usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage and more that you would usually find on any Android device, we also have two new options added which are buttons and gestures. So diving into the buttons menu firstly, we have the option to enable or disable the on-screen navigation buttons which is of course exclusive to the OnePlus One. And I am used to the on-screen buttons since I use a Nexus 5, but with the OnePlus One I much more prefer to use the hardware buttons since you get a bit more screen real estate. We also have the backlight duration for the keys at the bottom, as well as the long press and double tap action for the home button. And what these do is allow us to manually set up what we'd like a home button to do when we add a long press or double tap on it, and we also have the long press and short press action for the menu button. Under the gesture settings menu, we have the usual options to enable and disable double tap to wake, open camera, toggle flashlight, and music control gestures that were all available on CyanogenMod Mod 11 s These gestures were things that made the OnePlus One stand out from the competition, so it's really nice to see it added back here with Oxygen OS. So diving into about phone here, you'll see all the necessary information, and as I said before, it's based on Android 5.0.2 Lollipop, so it's not the latest version of Lollipop or anything, but at least it's Lollipop, so that's a plus. Another thing I noticed that's worth mentioning is that the multitasking screen now has this white X at the top right that allows you to clear all the apps with one touch and I really think this is a nice addition and also fits in with the design really well. So basically it's everything you'd get with stock Android plus some more and I did root the phone so you can see the super user app right there. I mainly rooted it so I can change the DPI and I also installed titanium backup to restore some of the apps I had before flashing Oxygen OS. Also if you never change your DPI before. I highly suggest trying it out since I absolutely hate using the stock DPI now ever since I changed it. So if your DPI is currently set to around maybe 480, you can probably try setting it to maybe 400 or 420 and just see how much more of the screen you can actually use with a lower DPI. One weird thing I did notice though, maybe the only weird thing I found with Oxygen OS so far is that although I have full service, my carrier shows emergency calls only. So I'm not sure if it's my specific carrier or if it's just a general problem with Oxygen OS. But if you do have a OnePlus One running Oxygen OS, definitely feel free to let me know in a comment below. So this is Oxygen OS 1.0.0, which means it's the absolute first iteration. So there's definitely some room for improvement in certain areas. But I think it's a great start and it surely has a lot of potential. And just because it isn't as customizable as Cyanogen Mod 11 was, doesn't mean it won't get there with time. And for now it actually performs quite well from my experience with it so far. I also think it was a good move by OnePlus to create their own OS, or more accurately call what it is, a ROM, so we can wait now and see what they have in store for us with future updates. So that's been it for this quick overview of Oxygen OS running on the OnePlus One. So if you liked it, feel free to smash that thumbs up button below like you always do, and of course feel free to leave a comment in the comment section as well, and again thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.